Hey everybody and welcome back. So today I'm doing a Get Ready With Me featuring the... Featuring? Featuring the Laura Lee uh, Party Animal palette that was in our BoxyCharm this month. I honestly have no idea what I was gonna do. I've been throwing around ideas like all day, but I think we're just gonna wing it and maybe do one eye one color and one eye another. We'll see though. First things first, I think I'm gonna get a couple of shadow shields on the face. It doesn't really matter if whatever I do looks good because I am effectively doing nothing. It is, I don't even know, like uh, nine o'clock at night right now. And being 9 o'clock at night, I'm not going anywhere, so it doesn't matter if my face looks a little crazy. The only person that's going to see it is Ryan. Can't even scare my children, they're asleep. Question of the hour, is my shadow shield straight? I don't know, probably not. We're going with it though. So we're going to use eyeshadow primer and then we're gonna go over it with two different white products to try and like get the full extent of that color because why not why not I always prime my lids even if I'm not doing anything just because I just feel like weird without them and then I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter White Concealer, which is zero, zero fair, and the Milk NYX Jumbo Pencil. And we'll see if I need both, but I'm prepared for both. So I want this to be intense. So why not? We're kind of doing like an avant-garde after dark kind of thing, I guess. If you can call it that. Let's use the palette as a mirror. That's a good idea, right? I've seen a couple people do these. Uh, I think S her name's Stephanie was the first one I saw do it. I'll link her. Now that I'm looking crazy. And then I'll just sponge a little. We'll do the same thing with a, a little bit of that jumbo pencil. Because I really want as much as I possibly can pigmentation wise. This really is crazy looking. Lids are slightly sticky. So let's start. I was gonna use the mogul shade in here to set things, but I kind of want things to stay sticky. So we're just gonna bypass that. And we're gonna start with this eye. And I think I'm gonna go into Isapade, which is this green. My, my brush is dirty, but I've like color switched it. Can ignore that. I'm gonna go into it's a party and we're just gonna put that on my this is my right eye all the way up in like the brow area. It is very um, powdery. So just all the way up there. Build it up for nice and density. Don't know if you guys can really see it with the uh, color of my uh, lighting overcast because my lighting is kind of yellow, but I can see. So we're just going all the way, all the way up, like into the brow. I'm going to take the same brush and I think we're going to go into karaoke and I'm going to put that a little bit lower. I'm 
Oh my god, we're just building up karaoke. It's a gorgeous blue. I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm going to take more of karaoke and I'm going to pull it in on my lid and then put damage control all over my uh, like inner corner and like fluff it all up together. I kind of like that idea. Just still use the same brush for karaoke. Kind of pull it in on the lid. I think I'm gonna cut the crease, which I've never done before, so be delicate with me. In my color switch. Like I said, I've never cut the crease before, but we're gonna, gonna try it. This is this is the first time for both of us. And we're just gonna use white because why not? Put that damage control, that teal shade, all up in there. So, got white on that brush. Sorry, can you guys not see what I'm doing? It's okay, I don't even know what I'm doing. We can be confused together. white up in there. Now we're gonna take this flat shader brush. This is from Wet a Wild and we're gonna take damage control which is that color. So I've used It's a Party all the way up to my brow and I took a karaoke and I fluffed that out and that like extensive crazy wing. And now we're gonna take damage control and pat that all over that like white portion of my lid. So we're just we're just trying to make it look normal. Anything about this normal? I'm not sure. Again, these are powdery. Ooh. It's a lot. I don't hate it though. I think I need to do more creative looks when I have free time. I just set my palette down on my pants like this, not like on the mirror side, so. Pink shadow all over me. Way to go, me. So I'm gonna take more of that karaoke on that fluffy brush and I'm just gonna merge those colors together, hopefully. At least that's the idea. Try and do something I haven't seen other people do, which is kind of hard because when you have six colors, there's only so many things to do. I just wanted it to be interesting, but I'm interested. There's a, a lot going on on that eye, and there's gonna be a lot more going on on that eye. The good thing though is I'm not hating it. A little bit more here, work out that gradient. Blue, all the way up there. All right, so I think that eye is done. And then we're gonna do, I think, a similar thing, but with damage control up where that green is, with the it's a potty color. And then we're gonna do hungover like we did the uh, blue, and then bottoms up where we did that teal. I don't know if it's gonna look good. I don't know if orange and purple are gonna jive very well, but we gotta try, because why not? We're already halfway here. Might as well do it the other half. So same brush, color, cleaned it up on that color switch. Tap, tap, tap. Going in. Oh, my foot fell asleep. Sorry, my foot's still asleep. I'm just not sitting on it as intently as I was. 
Does anybody else sit in a chair like a weirdo? Or is that just me? Can't just be me. Sorry, I had a notification. Alright, turns out we're going in with hungover. Clean off the orange on the brush. We're gonna do the same thing that we did with the blue, which was karaoke. With the purple. We're gonna flick it out and do the same thing. I do love this purple. So the purple in the pan looks like nothing. But when I swatched it, it was just otherworldly. I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera how pretty it is right now. Cause my lighting's kind of like horrible. I would put this purple all over everything. After I swatched it, I told Ryan that I just want to put it all over my face. I feel very similar to that right now. Keep going. See, my first thought with this was that I was going to do like a halo eye with that purple and the pink. Maybe some of that orange. And now we just, we just go and rogue. I'm going to take this mirror and put it over here. Oh yeah. I think we need to intensify the orange on the upper part. Some of it got lost with that purple, and then we're gonna cut the crease and the same thing I did with the teal with the pink. At least that's the idea. We get in there. More drawings. Drawings. Hopefully you got it. Not having the same problem on that side, so we good. Now we're gonna cut the crease again. Use that pink. And we doing stuff. I feel like I'm slowly getting into one of those situations where I need an adult. And my adult is outside vaping, so. Probably not gonna help. Oh damn that purple though. That one was a lot easier than the other one. And I'm not entirely sure why. So we're gonna take that same flat shader brush I used that teal shade with. Switch it out. I'm dropping stuff on my lap. Take bottoms up. This glittery pink. Having one of those like makeup nerd moments. Ooh. See, my fear with this is that the glitter wasn't going to show up, and apparently I had nothing to be afraid of. There be glitter, matey. Glitter, ahoy! fluffy brush that is now every shade of the rainbow. Take more of hungover, blend those two together. And let's see. I think we might... I'm not sure. I think we might almost be done. I'm thinking about adding lean liner. I'm gonna try and do lashes because lashes came in the box and I haven't tried those yet but I don't know. As much as I would like to promise you guys I, I don't know if I can do that. We'll, we'll see though.
this side looks sharper just because it's not as messy, but I think when we remove the shadow shields will be good. I do want to take another dose of that like, orange though, and I want to bring it a little bit further down and a little bit further out. I want to do kind of the same thing with the green like here. So we'll do the green first because that's a lighter color. Switch this again, picking it up. Same thing, and we're gonna do the same thing with the orange, which is drinks. I can't say that without needing to do it like that, drinks. Okay. Now, I'm gonna turn off the camera, and I'm gonna struggle with eyelashes as long as it takes to get them on. And we'll see how that goes, and I'll be back to do liner and <laughs> the rest. The lashes on. Can you tell? They weren't that hard this time. Now we're gonna take these shadow shields off. And then just to clean up. Dispose of them. and then we're gonna move on to finishing the face and then the lower lash line. I feel like with this eye look, I need nothing to show. I'm gonna hide all my secrets today. things where we just kind of need to go all out. You can't go all out if you don't just do it. I normally don't use this much concealer. I feel like this is the first for me. I need a mirror because I don't want to screw up that uh, hearty wing. for with that concealer. Ryan and I just had a conversation about how I'm getting tan. I don't want to be tan. But it's happening. So I'm gonna set myself with my IBY face powder and then we'll finish up everything else. It's a highlight, not a face powder. I just use it as a face powder.
This stuff's super powdery. Now let them all set. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and go under my eyes just. Normally the uh, Pro Filter Concealer, I don't need to set. kind of going crazy up in here so that's done we're going to contour also powdery this is my um, innovator color that I frank oh sorry frankenified Mousse color from this one. And then again with the blending. Right. Well, I'm going to take this fine shader brush and I'm going to take that dark blue under. Well, that dark blue under and that green under and then the same thing here with that purple and then that orange. So we're gonna have to color switch this a couple of times. screwed up the sharpness of that eye, but it's okay, because the person that's going to see it other than you guys is Ryan, and nobody here's going to judge me. Thank you. So I think that's it. I think I want to do some gel liner, but I don't think that's necessary. I think I just want to do it because I've already gone this far. We're just going to do the more is more thing today. We'll just say we're hiding the band. Okay. The other side, and we're done. Kind of like the blue green side better than the pink purple side, just because of this kind of is messier. And the contacts are doing this thing where they're like. Mm -hmm. What's my hair doing? I should have a drink. Alright, so I think that's kind of all we're doing. So I think I really like the blue green side better than the pink side. I think that this is where I screwed up. If I was going out, I'd fix that, but I don't think I'd ever actually go out of the house, like, with this kind of makeup. Oh, I didn't do my eyebrows. Why didn't you guys tell me I didn't do my eyebrows or a lip product? Mm. So let's, let's fix this too while we're at it.
Nobody saw anything. No, it didn't happen. Eyebrows. So we're gonna go in hard. Ridiculously bold brows. Go with the ridiculously bold look. <laughs> Does it work? I don't know. Okay. And then I picked out a lip product too. Um, did I just. No, I had a, a lipstick in here, I swear. There it is, I found it. I, I put everything I was gonna use like in this little bin in front of me. So this is Aquarius the lip liner, and this is the lippy stick. And then we're done. You're opening the door. You are so noisy. You're like, let me be quiet and sneak into the room and then be a herd of elephants and knock everything off of every surface in the room. As you whisper after making so much noise. what I came up with with the Laura Lee Los Angeles party animal palette. I feel like I'm ready for a party. I don't know what kind of party. Probably one where people do really dumb things. I feel like that, that's the kind of party I'd be going to with this eye look. If you made it this far, you should let me know if you liked the, the green blue colors or the pinky purple more because there's a choice here I made. I'm not sure if I made the right one. <laughs> Hope you all have a good night wherever you are. Thank you for watching. Bye.